So let's continue our talk about respiratory distress and urinates. In the previous two videos, I talked about the most important cause of respiratory distress in uh, preterm infants, which is the respiratory distress syndrome. And I talked about meconium aspiration syndrome. In this video, I'm going to talk about the most common cause of respiratory distress in term neonates in term neonates which is the transient tachypnea of neonate transient tachypnea of neonate again this is the most common cause of respiratory distress in term neonates okay for preterm we uh, respiratory distress syndrome is the most important okay so let's start with the path of physiology what do we mean by transient tachypnea of neonates what really happens in transient tachypnea in of neonates that it is most in term babies okay we have a cs elective cesarean section delivery the result of the elective cesarean section delivery is that we have no uterine contractions okay and usually the uterine contractions will lead to catecholamines release okay so if we have no uterine contractions we will have no catecholamines release the function of catecholamine one of the functions of the catecholamines is to absorb the fluid from the lung okay so the baby or the infant in his uh, mother utera uterus uh, is swimming in the uh, amniotic fluid his lung is full uh, of fluid okay so after birth catecholamines plays and catecholamines play an important role in absorption uh, of these fluids okay so if we have cesarean section delivery we will have no or little uterine contractions and that will lead to no release of catecholamines. The decrease in catecholamines will lead to decrease in uh, absorption, less absorption of a fluid. Okay, and that will le lead, of course, to residual fluid in the lung tissue. Okay, the residual fluid in the lung tissue will interpret, okay, or interfere with. Uh, the uh, normal respiration of the child and that will lead to respiratory distress okay respiratory distress okay the most important presentation of res uh, of res uh, presentation of respiratory distress in uh, children that have uh, transient tachypnea of neonate the, is the tachypnea so it is transient tachypnea so tachypnea is the most important presentation actually normal respiratory rate is about 40 to 60 okay uh, but uh, it will be uh, more than that in transient tachypnea of neonate okay when uh, will it present it will present immediately after birth or within two hours so please Recall, I told you that in respiratory distress in unit, we have causes that cause term, uh, in term, uh, we have term causes of respiratory distress in unit and preterm or uh, premature causes of respiratory distress, okay? Premature causes, we have less than six hours causes and more than six hour causes. Less than six hour causes where uh, respiratory distress syndrome was on the top of the uh, list okay this is in a preterm respiratory distress in unit but in term respiratory distress in unit we have less than six hours and i mean by less than six hours that uh, the disease present uh, in two three four hours okay for example just like transient tachypnea if needed okay so it is in term okay and in to present in less than six hours if it present uh, more than six hours uh, i'm sorry after six hours of birthing okay then we think about pneumonia congenital pneumonia but because it is less than six hours so presentation will be after about two hours okay and it lasts only for few hours to two days and this is one different between the uh, transient tachypnea of neonates and the respiratory distress syndrome because the respiratory distress syndrome the peak presentation is on two to three days okay on the second or the third day but in transient tachypnea of neonate uh, the disease will resolve or the issue will resolve at the second 
day most of cases okay so the most important presentation is the tachypnea other presentations are signs of respiratory distress just like nasal flaring grunting retractions and etc all the same things i talked about in uh, definition of respiratory distress okay now how to diagnose the transient uh, tachypnea of neonate actually diagnosis by exclusion okay you look at is the baby term baby yes so you can almost exclude uh, the respiratory distress syndrome you think about transient tachypnea of neonate okay uh, when does it present is it at six hours less more if more think about pneumonia less think about uh, the resp tachypnea, transient tachypnea of neonate okay when does it resolve uh, if it resolves at uh, two and th or three days then it is transient tachypnea of neonate so the uh, diagnosis by exclusion because it's benign condition okay it's a good condition with similar not good okay but relatively better than respiratory distress syndrome okay with similar symptoms to more serious uh, things like respiratory distress syndrome so by exclusion you can diagnose it on x-ray you can see an evidences of the presence of fluid in the lung okay so the whole problem is about the presence of fluid in the lung so on x-ray you can see see radio peak line okay fluid in the horizontal fissure so this is the horizontal fissure here we can see radio peak line uh, that uh, of fluid okay you can see fluid infiltrate throughout the alveoli or uh, in uh, throughout individual uh, lung loops here we can see pleural effusion okay you can see infiltration of a fluid okay so this is the x-ray management actually treatment is only supportive it will go after two days uh, it may go f after uh, some hours okay so treatment is supportive uh, supplementation of oxygen and antibiotics sometimes is necessary okay so this is all about the transient tachypnea unit so we have other lectures to talk about infections okay but in this video i'm going to talk briefly about the infections like pneumonia and sepsis they are important causes of respiratory distress syndrome group b streptococcus staph aureus streptococcus pneumonia are important uh, causative microorganisms okay there are also risk factors of course prolonged rupture of membrane you all know that prematurity and maternal fev fever chest x-ray you may see bilateral infiltration okay congenital pneumonia okay risk factors of congenital pneumonia that present after birth is premature rupture of membrane again prematurity maternal fever discharge abdominal pain leukocytosis you know all of these things okay the same presentation as respiratory distress syndrome premature rupture of membrane will lead to bacteria ascending from the vagina the normal flow may ascend and cause infection prematurity the immunity system will not be okay maternal fever presence of uh, infection in the mother or colonization of the group b streptococcus they are all causes of congenital pneumonia okay so this is x-ray for pneumonia okay and also from the causes of uh, uh, causes of uh, respiratory distress in units congenital heart disease and actually we have uh, separate video to talk about this condition okay so I'm not going to talk about this we have a hypoxia test hypoxia test actually is a test to distinguish between the uh, pulmonary cyanosis and the heart cyanosis so this is all about the respiratory distress in neonates I talked about the respiratory distress syndrome about the uh, uh, meconium aspiration about the transient tachypnea of neonates and uh, briefly about the uh, congenital pneumonia okay see you in the next video thank you very much for watching this